In the heart of a quaint, fog-swathed town lay the Dilworth Estate, a mansion as enigmatic as it was imposing. Rumors swirled among the townsfolk about its mysterious past, whispering tales of disappearances and eerie occurrences. It was these whispers that drew Alex, an ambitious but struggling filmmaker, to the doorstep of the dilapidated mansion. His camera, his only companion. Alex's plan was simple. Immerse himself in the mansion's mysteries to create a documentary that would captivate horror enthusiasts on YouTube. The mansion, with its labyrinthine corridors and shadowy recesses, seemed to be a character in its own right. Its chilling ambience, a perfect backdrop for a horror masterpiece. The first night was uneventful, with Alex exploring the grandeur of the decaying halls and the remnants of opulence now shrouded in dust. But as night melded into the eerie silence of the early hours, the mansion seemed to awaken. Faint whispers echoed through the walls, too indistinct to discern, yet unmistakably human. Alex, both terrified and exhilarated, knew these whispers were the key to the chilling narrative he sought to weave. He set up his cameras in the most haunted parts of the mansion, hoping to capture something supernatural. What he didn't expect was for the whispers to grow more fervent, more desperate, as if trying to communicate. The temperature would drop inexplicably in rooms where the whispers grew louder, and shadows seemed to flicker at the edge of his vision. Determined to delve deeper into the mansion's secrets, Alex discovered an old diary hidden beneath the floorboards of what he presumed was once a child's bedroom. The diary belonged to Elizabeth Dilworth, the youngest daughter of the mansion's original owners, who vanished without a trace over a century ago. Her entries were filled with innocent ramblings that slowly descended into frantic accounts of voices in the walls that whispered her name. As Alex pieced together the tragic history of the Dilworth family and the mysterious disappearance of Elizabeth, the mansion seemed to respond, with the intensity of the occurrences escalating. Objects moved of their own accord, Doors slammed shut, trapping him in rooms that felt alive with malevolent energy. The climax of his stay occurred on the last night, when Alex, following the whispers, found himself in the mansion's dilapidated ballroom. The whispers crescendoed into a cacophony, and the shadows coalesced into the figure of a young girl. Her expression, one of sorrow, Fear. It was Elizabeth, reaching out across the chasm of time, her story begging to be told. In that moment, Alex understood the true horror of the Dilworth estate. It wasn't just a haunted mansion. It was a prison for lost souls like Elizabeth, trapped in an endless loop of their final despairing moments. His camera captured this ethereal encounter. The footage a chilling testament to the mansion's dark legacy. Alex left the mansion with more than just footage. He carried with him the heavy burden of the stories etched into the very walls of the Dilworth estate. His documentary, Whispers in the Walls, became an instant sensation on YouTube, captivating audiences with its blend of real horror and the tragic tale of Elizabeth Dilworth, but even as the views and accolades poured in, Alex couldn't shake off the feeling that he'd brought something back with him. The whispers didn't end at the mansion. They followed him, a constant reminder that some stories, especially the most haunting ones, refuse to be left behind. 
as the echoes of whispers in the walls reverberated across the digital landscape, Alex found his life irrevocably altered. The whispers that had haunted the corridors of the Dilworth estate now seemed to permeate the very fabric of his reality. A constant, unnerving presence that refused to be confined to the mansion's decaying walls. The phenomena began subtly at first. Alex would catch glimpses of shadows darting just out of sight, and the faint sound of a girl's laughter would occasionally drift through his apartment, dissipating as quickly as it came. These occurrences, while unsettling, were easily dismissed as the byproducts of a mind steeped too long in horror. However, as the days blurred into weeks, the disturbances grew more pronounced, more aggressive. Objects in his home began to move of their own accord, mimicking the poltergeist activity he'd witnessed at the mansion. His cameras, left running in the hope of capturing these inexplicable events, recorded nothing but static-filled footage, save for brief flashes of a figure that bore a striking resemblance to the spectral Elizabeth. Driven by a mix of fear and an insatiable desire for answers, Alex delved into the Dilworth family's history with renewed fervor. He uncovered tales of arcane rituals and dark pacts that hinted at the true source of the mansion's haunting. A cursed lineage doomed to relive their darkest moments in death as they had in life. The more Alex uncovered, the more intense the phenomena became. The whispers evolved into disembodied voices, pleading for release, for peace. And then came the dreams, vivid, terrifying visions that thrust Alex into the memories of the mansion's past inhabitants. He experienced their fears, their sorrows, and their final, desperate moments, as if they were his own. One such dream transported Alex to the night of Elizabeth's disappearance. He found himself in the body of a young Elizabeth, hiding in a secret room within the mansion as a thunderous storm raged outside. Through the eyes of the young girl, he witnessed a clandestine gathering of cloaked figures in the mansion's grand hall, their chants rising above the storm's fury. The ritual reached its zenith as lightning illuminated the room, revealing a moment of horror tied Elizabeth's fate to the mansion's malevolent spirits. Awakening from the dream, Alex was consumed by a maddening obsession to save Elizabeth and the other trapped souls, believing that their release would end his torment. He returned to the mansion, armed with his research and an array of equipment, determined confront the dark forces he now believed were anchored to the Dilworth lineage. The mansion, however, had grown more sinister in his absence. The air was thick with malice, and the shadows seemed to pulsate with a life of their own. The whispers were now deafening screams, and the very walls seemed to bleed despair. As Alex ventured deeper into the mansion's heart, he realized boundary between the living and the dead had begun to blur. The mansion was no longer just a vessel for the spirits. It had become a sentient entity, feeding on the misery of its inhabitants, both past and present. In the grand hall, where the ritual had taken place all those years ago, Alex set up his final, desperate attempt to sever the curse. But as the ritual commenced, the mansion unleashed its full fury. The dead converged, their spectral forms swirling around him in a vortex of anguished energy. The air crackled with the power of the unleashed curse, threatening to 
consume not just Alex, but the very essence of his being. Just as the ritual neared its completion, a figure emerged from the vortex a woman of ethereal beauty, her eyes reflecting the torment of centuries. She whispered a single cryptic phrase that held the key to ending the Dilworth curse forever. But before Alex could grasp its meaning, the mansion shuddered violently, as if attempting to expel the intruder within its walls. The screen goes black, the whispers crescendo to a peak, and then silence. The story hangs in the air, unresolved. The fate of Alex and the spirits of the Dilworth estate lingering like a mist, waiting for the next chapter to unveil the dark secrets buried within. The ground beneath Alex's feet trembled as the mansion's fury manifested into a physical tempest, the stones of the chamber cracking and groaning under the strain, dust and ancient debris danced in the air around him, caught in the unnatural maelstrom that the mansion had become. The air was electric, charged with the energy of countless trapped souls yearning for release. Alex's heart raced as he clutched the ancient tome, its pages fluttering wildly as if eager to commence the forbidden ritual. Ethereal whispers swirled around him, growing in intensity, becoming almost discernible as pleas and warnings entwined. He could feel the eyes of the mansion's inhabitants, both spectral and painted, bearing down upon him, their fates intertwined with his impending decision. With a deep, steadying breath, Alex began the ritual reciting the ancient incantations that felt both alien and eerily familiar on his tongue. The chamber's atmosphere thickened, a palpable pressure that seemed to squeeze the very breath from his lungs. Shadows coalesced around the altar, twisting and writhing as if alive, their forms intermittently human and monstrous. As the ritual reached its zenith, a brilliant column of light erupted from the altar, piercing the darkness and illuminating the chamber with a blinding intensity. Within this light, the shadows took form, revealing the trapped souls in their true visages, faces contorted in eternal anguish, their eyes pleading for salvation. Amidst this chaos, a new figure emerged, distinct from the others in its clarity and calm. It was the ethereal woman, her form now solidified, her expression one of sorrowful resolve. She approached Alex, her movements graceful, yet laden with an unspeakable burden. Her voice, clear and melodic, rose above the din revealing the final piece of the ritual, a revelation that chilled Alex to his core. The sacrifice required was not just any soul, but the soul of one who had willingly bound themselves to the mansion's fate, a soul that had penetrated the deepest secrets of the Dilworth curse. Alex realized with a sinking heart that the ritual demanded his own essence as the linchpin for the curse's dissolution. As this truth settled upon him, the chamber's tumult reached a deafening crescendo, the very air vibrating with the potential for liberation or eternal damnation. The spectral inhabitants of the mansion converged around him, their forms blurring into a vortex of spectral energy, their fates and his now irrevocably intertwined. The woman's voice became a soothing balm amidst the chaos, her words imbuing Alex with a sense of peace. Even as the ritual demanded its grim toll, 
she spoke of the cycle of suffering that would end with his sacrifice, of the countless souls that would find peace through his action. Yet, in her eyes, there was a glimmer of regret, a silent apology for the burden he bore, with the mansion itself seeming to hold its breath. Alex stood at the precipice of his decision, the weight of centuries bearing down upon him. The air was thick with anticipation. The outcome of the ritual hanging in the balance. A moment frozen in time, where salvation and sacrifice were but a heartbeat away. And just as Alex prepared to surrender himself to the ritual's demands, the chamber was rocked by a sudden, violent force, a disruption that threatened to unravel the fabric of the mansion's reality. The light flickered, shadows danced with renewed frenzy, and the whispers crescendoed into a maelstrom of voices, each clamoring for dominance. The screen fades to black, leaving the outcome shrouded in uncertainty echoes of the ritual and its consequences, lingering like a specter in the darkness. The story poised on the brink of revelation, or oblivion. As the ritual reached its zenith, a brilliant column of light erupted from the altar, piercing the oppressive darkness of the chamber. The shadows recoiled as if burned forms dissipating into the air with anguished howls. The tome on the altar blazed with an ethereal glow, its pages flipping furiously as if caught in a hurricane. The air itself seemed to warp and twist, reality bending under the weight of the ancient magic being unleashed. Alex, standing at the eye of this supernatural storm, felt an overwhelming surge of power coursing through him, a conduit for the ritual's potent energies. The whispers of the trapped souls crescendoed into a deafening chorus, their voices merging into a single, desperate plea for release. The light from the altar began to coalesce into forms. Ghostly apparitions of the Dilworth ancestors materializing around Alex. They were spectral, yet distinct, each bearing the marks of their torment. Among them, the figure of the ethereal woman appeared once more, her eyes meeting Alex's with a haunting intensity. She extended her hand, a silent invitation to join their ranks, to become part of the mansion's tragic tapestry. But as the ritual drew to its close. An ominous darkness began to seep into the chamber, emanating from the very walls of the mansion. It was a darkness so absolute, so consuming, that it seemed to swallow the very light from the altar. The ground shook with increased ferocity, cracks spreading like spider webs across the chamber floor. Within this encroaching darkness, Alex glimpsed something far more terrifying than the ghosts of the Dilworth lineage. It was a formless entity, a manifestation of the mansion's curse itself, ancient and malevolent. Its presence filled the chamber with a palpable sense of dread, a darkness that seemed to suffocate the very air. As this entity drew closer, the spectral Dilworths rallied around Alex, forming a protective circle. The ethereal woman's voice cut through the chaos, her words a cryptic clue to the entity's true nature, and possibly its weakness. But before Alex could grasp the meaning of her words, the entity unleashed a howl that shook the foundations of the mansion. A sound that seemed to come from the depths of the earth itself. The chamber was plunged into a battle of light and darkness, the outcome hanging in the balance. Alex, caught in the middle, 
realized the ritual was more than a means to end the curse. It was a catalyst that had awakened something far older and more sinister. As the darkness converged on the circle of light, the screen fades to black, leaving the fate of Alex, the Dilworth spirits, and the malevolent entity shrouded in mystery. The story remains suspended in this moment of intense confrontation. The resolution of this epic battle, a tale yet to be told, in the heart of the tempest, where light and darkness clashed with ancient fury, Alex stood resolute, the tome's energy coursing through him as a beacon against the encroaching void. The spectral Dilworths, their forms flickering like candle flames in a storm, chanted alongside Alex, their voices melding into a powerful incantation that bolstered the light's stand against the darkness. The formless entity, a manifestation of centuries-old malice, twisted and writhed at the edge of the light, its howls reverberating through the chamber and into the very bones of the mansion. With each assault, the entity sent waves of despair and fear crashing over Alex. Visions of the mansion's tortured past flashing before his eyes. Visions meant to break his resolve. Amidst this maelstrom of psychic torment, the ethereal woman's presence became a beacon of clarity. She whispered of a binding, a tether that anchored the entity to the mortal realm, hidden within the mansion's labyrinthine depths, to vanquish the darkness. Alex had to sever this unseen chain, a task that required not just physical strength, but an indomitable will to face the mansion's darkest truths. With the ritual as his anchor, Alex plunged into the depths of his own psyche, guided by the whispers of the ethereal woman. Each step took him deeper into a realm where the boundaries between past and present, reality and nightmare, began to blur. The mansion's history unfolded around him like a living tapestry, revealing the countless souls ensnared by the curse, their despair fueling the entity's power. As Alex navigated this twisted landscape, the entity's attacks grew more desperate, more personal, conjured illusions of his deepest fears, his regrets, and his darkest moments, attempting to ensnare him in a web of his own making. But with each illusion shattered, Alex's resolve hardened, his connection to the spectral Dilworths strengthening, their collective will pushing back against the darkness. Finally, the heart of this psychic labyrinth, Alex found the entity's tether, a pulsating heart of shadow, entwined with the very foundations of the mansion. Around it, the spirits of the Dilworths were trapped, their essence bound to the heart in an intricate pattern of light and shadow. As Alex approached the heart, the entity unleashed a final furious assault, a tidal wave of darkness that threatened to engulf everything. The spectral Dilworths rallied for one last stand, their forms merging into a shield of light around Alex, protecting him as he reached for the heart. With the ethereal woman's whispers as his guide, Alex tore at the heart's shadowy tendrils, each one screaming in agony as it was severed, the mansion itself convulsed, the very stones crying out in a chorus of anguish and relief as the entity's grip loosened. But just as the heart began to unravel, the entity gathered its remaining strength for a final, devastating blow. The chamber trembled, 
The air crackled with dark energy, and the light around Alex flickered precariously as the chamber quaked under the entity's wrath. The boundaries between dimensions seemed to thin, the veil fluttering like a torn curtain in a tempest. The heart, now partially unraveled, pulsed erratically, its shadows bleeding into the room, distorting reality. Alex, surrounded by the protective light of the Dilworth spirits, pushed forward, his hands nearly touching the heart's core. The entity, in a desperate bid to preserve itself, began to manifest physically, its form a swirling vortex of darkness, faces of anguish and despair flashing within it, each a soul it had consumed. The air grew colder, the light dimmer, as if the entity were swallowing the very essence of life from the room. Around Alex, the spectral Dilworths fought to maintain the circle of light, their forms flickering under the strain. The ethereal woman, her face a mask of serene determination, whispered of the heart's final chain, invisible and intangible, anchored in a moment of profound sorrow and regret within Alex's own past. To break it, Alex had to confront and release this pain, to offer it up as a sacrifice to the ritual. Inside Alex's mind, the mansion's horrors converged with his personal demons. Images flashed before him, the loss of loved ones, moments of failure, and deep-seated fears, each memory, infused with the entity's dark influence, sought to trap Alex in a prison of his own despair. But amidst this onslaught, a glimmer of hope shimmered. The Dilworths' voices merged into a harmonious chant, their words a balm to Alex's tormented soul. They reminded him that within his deepest scars, lay not just pain, but also strength, the resilience to endure, to overcome. Emboldened, Alex reached into the heart of his darkness, grasping the intangible chain. As he pulled, the memories and fears began to dissolve, replaced by a sense of peace and acceptance. The heart's shadows recoiled, its pulses growing weaker. As the final chain began to unravel, the entity unleashed a scream that resonated through every stone of the mansion. A sound so dreadful, it threatened to shatter mind and spirit. The chamber's walls cracked. The very air seemed to tear, revealing glimpses of a void beyond comprehension, dark, endless, and devoid of all hope. In this moment of chaos, the barrier between Alex and the entity thinned to a mere wisp, their essences nearly touching, each confronting the other's raw power and intent. The entity, a maelstrom of darkness, and Alex, a beacon of resilient light, stood on the precipice of a cataclysmic clash the outcome of which held the power to redefine the very fabric of their reality. The tension reached a fever pitch, the air electrified with the potential of what was to come. The screen fades to an oppressive darkness, the sound of the heart's final faltering beats hanging in the air, leaving the story suspended in a moment, teetering between salvation and ruin waiting for the next chapter to unveil the fate of Alex, the mansion, and the darkness that binds them. In the charged silence that followed the entity scream, the void beyond the torn veil seemed to stare back at Alex, a depthless abyss that whispered of oblivion. The heart, now barely holding its form, emitted a weak, pulsing light 
a stark contrast to the overwhelming darkness that encroached upon the chamber. Alex, standing at the edge of this metaphysical chasm, felt the weight of countless eyes upon him. The spirits of the mansion and the souls consumed by the entity watching with bated breath. The air was thick with anticipation. The moment suspended as if time itself dared not move. The entity, sensing its end near, shifted tactics, its form coalescing into a more humanoid shape, a mirror of Alex's darkest aspects. This doppelganger spoke with a voice that was both foreign and intimately familiar. Using words laced with doubt and fear, aimed at eroding Alex's resolve, it conjured illusions of Alex's life outside the mansion. A life it promised could be his again, free from the burden of the Dilworth curse. If only he ceased his efforts. But within these twisted promises, Alex heard the desperation of an entity cornered. Its threats and bargains, the last weapons in its arsenal. Strengthened by this realization, Alex turned his focus inward, drawing upon the collective strength of the Dilworth spirits, their unity offering a shield against the entity's psychological onslaught. As the battle of wills intensified, the chamber around them began to crumble. The fabric of the mansion, unable to contain the forces at play, the void beyond the tier seemed to pulse, its rhythms sinking with the heart's faltering beats, a cosmic echo of the conflict within. In a desperate bid for survival, the entity launched itself at Alex, a collision of light and dark that sent shockwaves through the mansion. The impact knocked Alex to the ground, the tome flying from his grasp, its pages scattering like leaves in a storm. As he struggled to rise, the ethereal woman appeared once more, her form now clear and radiant amidst the chaos. She extended her hand, not in invitation as before, but in aid, her eyes conveying a message of urgency. With her guidance, Alex saw the path to the heart's core, a narrow thread of light amidst the darkness, the key to ending the entity's reign. With every ounce of his being, Alex lunged for the heart, his fingers brushing against the core as the entity, in a final act of defiance, mustered all its remaining darkness to consume him. The chamber, the mansion, and the very air around them vibrated with the impending convergence of light and dark. A singularity of fate that held the power to either liberate or doom. The screen fades to black. The sounds of the mansion's agony and the entity's rage mingling in a haunting symphony, leaving the story poised on the brink of revelation. The outcome of Alex's final stand against the darkness, a tale yet to unfold. As the darkness surged towards him, Alex felt the very essence of his being stretched thin, the boundary between himself and the abyss blurring, the heart's core, now within his grasp, pulsed with a desperate light, its rhythm sinking with his own heartbeat a beacon amidst the consuming void. The ethereal woman's presence became his anchor, her radiance cutting through the darkness, guiding his actions with silent urgency. With a final, determined effort, Alex pressed his hand into the heart's core, the light enveloping him in a protective embrace as the darkness collided with him in a cataclysmic fury, the mansion itself seemed to scream, its 
walls bending and twisting, the very stones weeping as centuries of sorrow and torment were brought to the forefront. The spirits of the Dilworths, their forms now luminous and defined, joined their essence with Alex's, their combined strength a counterpoint to the entity's despair. In this moment of unity, Alex's vision expanded beyond the physical chamber, encompassing the entirety of the mansion and its cursed grounds. He saw the threads of fate that bound the spirits to the entity, each thread a story of loss and longing. With the ethereal woman's guidance, he began to untangle these threads, releasing the spirits from their eternal bondage. As each spirit was freed, their light joined with Alex's, bolstering the heart's core against the onslaught of darkness. The entity, now visibly weakening, fragmented into countless shadows, each a desperate attempt to cling to existence, to continue its reign of terror. But with every freed spirit, the entity's hold on the mansion and the surrounding lands diminished, its form becoming more erratic, its attacks less coordinated. The darkness it wielded so confidently began to falter, receding like a tide, revealing the true architecture of the mansion, free from the corruption of the curse. Yet, as the balance shifted towards light, the entity made one last, desperate gamble. It gathered the remnants of its power, focusing it into a singular, devastating blow, aimed not at Alex, but at the very heart of the mansion itself. If it could not have the mansion, it would ensure no one could. The air crackled with impending destruction, the mansion's fate hanging by a thread. Alex, surrounded by the light of countless freed spirits, stood at the epicenter the heart's core in his hands, a decision before him that held the power to alter destinies. The screen fades to black, the silence punctuated by the heartbeat of the mansion itself, a rhythm that speaks of ancient secrets and impending revelations. The story lingers in this moment of suspense, the culmination of Alex's journey and the mansion's curse, a narrative thread waiting to be woven into the tapestry of their intertwined fates. In the charged atmosphere, with the entity marshalling its last vestiges of power for a final cataclysmic assault, the mansion itself seemed to pulse with a life of its own, its every timber and stone imbued of the impending confrontation. The air was thick, charged with the electric tang of magic and the raw, primal force of ancient, bound spirits yearning for release. Alex, at the heart of this maelstrom of energy, felt the weight of centuries upon his shoulders, the fate of countless souls intertwined with his own core of the heart in his hands glowed with a fierce, indomitable light, its radiance a beacon against the encroaching darkness. The spirits of the Dilworth ancestors swirled around him, their forms aglow with ethereal light, lending their strength and courage to his cause. The entity, now a swirling vortex of shadows, its form barely cohesive, let out a howl that was both a scream of rage and a mournful lament, a sound that seemed to echo through the very fabric of reality. It was a sound that spoke of unending hunger, of pain, and despair so profound it threatened to swallow all light, all hope, 
As the entity gathered itself for its final assault, the very air seemed to thicken, time stretching thin. Each second a lifetime of anticipation. The mansion groaned under the strain, ancient wards and sigils flaring to life, their glow a testament to the countless battles fought within these walls. In this moment, suspended between destruction and salvation, a new presence made itself known from the shadows of the mansion's most forgotten corners, from the depths of the neglected garden and the long sealed chambers came the forgotten, the lost spirits, not even the Dilworths remembered. Drawn by the imminent shattering of the curse, they came, a silent army of the dispossessed, their forms barely visible, like whispers on the wind. These spirits, untouched by the heart's light, unclaimed by the entity's darkness, began to weave themselves into the fabric of the confrontation, their presence adding complexity to the battle. Their motivations were unknowable, their allegiance uncertain, yet their power was undeniable. A wild card in the already tumultuous equation, as Alex stood ready, the heart's core pulsing in tandem with his own heart, the entity unleashed its fury. A tidal wave of darkness surged forward, a tsunami of despair aimed at obliterating everything in its path. The spirits of the Dilworths braced, their light shining bright against the onslaught, their resolve unbreakable. The collision of light and dark was a spectacle beyond description, a cataclysmic event that transcended the physical realm rippling through the very essence of reality. The mansion, caught in the crossfire, began to shift and warp, its walls bending, floors undulating, as if the very building was attempting to escape its fate. In the heart of this chaos, Alex stood firm, the core of the heart, a blazing star in his hands, its light piercing through the darkness. But as the forces collided, the unexpected intervention of the forgotten spirits began to tip the scales in unforeseen ways, their actions weaving new threads of possibility into the unfolding tapestry of conflict. The screen fades to black once more, the sound of the clashing forces a distant, echoing thunder, leaving the outcome shrouded in mystery. The story hovers in this liminal space, the resolution of the epic battle and the fate of the mansion and its inhabitants, a tale yet to be told. The promise of more to come hanging tantalizingly in the air as the forces of light and dark clashed with apocalyptic fervor. The very foundation of the mansion shuddered threatening to collapse under the immense power unleashed within its walls. The forgotten spirits, their intentions ambiguous, wove through the battlefield, their ephemeral forms fluttering on the edges of perception, adding an unpredictable element to the already chaotic maelstrom. In this crucible of conflict, the mansion itself seemed to awaken fully its consciousness influenced by centuries of trapped emotions and unfulfilled desires. The walls bled shadows, and the air crackled with spectral energy, creating a tapestry of terror that defied the laws of nature. Alex, with the heart's core in hand, became the eye of the storm. His resolve, the only anchor in a sea of tumultuous forces, the Dilworth spirits, their light now mingled with the essence of the Forgotten Ones, created a radiant barrier that pushed back against the entity's onslaught. Their combined strength, a testament
testament to the power of unity against a common foe, the entity, its form fracturing under the assault of light, let out a piercing scream that resonated through the mansion, a sound that seemed to fracture the very air. From this scream emerged smaller entities, each a fragment of the original's malice and despair. Their forms a grotesque mimicry of life, seeking to overwhelm Alex and his spectral allies with sheer numbers. As the battle raged, the heart's core began to pulse with an urgent rhythm, its light growing more intense, more focused. It was as if the heart itself was guiding Alex, showing him the path through the darkness, its light a beacon amidst the chaos. The forgotten spirits, their forms coalescing into more solid shapes, began to interact with the physical world in unprecedented ways. They manipulated the shadows, bending them to their will, creating a shifting maze that disoriented the fragment entities, turning the mansion's oppressive darkness against its master. Amidst this chaos, a new figure emerged, one that had been hidden within the mansion's depths, untouched by the curse and forgotten this figure, shrouded in mystery, moved with purpose through the battlefield, its presence adding a new layer of complexity to the unfolding drama, neither light nor dark. This figure seemed to transcend the binary conflict, its motives as enigmatic as its origins, as Alex moved towards the heart of the entity, guided by the pulsing light of the heart's core mysterious figure followed, its silhouette a silent promise of untold secrets and untapped power. The mansion, now fully sentient, shifted its corridors and rooms in a labyrinthine dance, attempting to protect its heart while simultaneously battling the internal forces, tearing it apart. The screen fades to darkness once again the sounds of the battle, a distant, haunting echo. The resolution of this epic confrontation, the identity of the mysterious figure, and the fate of the Dilworth Mansion and its inhabitants remain shrouded in the mists of the unknown. The story poised on the brink of monumental revelations, awaiting the moment when the tale will continue. Tin heart of the dilapidated Dilworth Mansion. Amidst the tumultuous clash of light and darkness, Alex stood resolute, the heart's core pulsing in his grasp like a living thing. The spectral Dilworths, united with the enigmatic forgotten spirits, formed a radiant phalanx around him. Their combined light a bastion against the encroaching shadows. The mysterious figure, its presence a puzzle that threaded through the chaos, moved closer to Alex, its features slowly becoming clearer as it stepped into the light. Its identity was revealed, a guardian of the mansion, bound by ancient magic to protect its heart. This guardian, neither spirit nor human, held the key to the final piece of the ritual, a sacrifice of darkness to seal the entity away forever. With a nod of understanding between Alex and the Guardian, a silent agreement was forged. The Guardian channeled the last of its ethereal energy into the heart's core, its form dissolving into pure light. A final act of protection for the mansion it had sworn to defend. Empowered by the Guardian's sacrifice, the heart's core blazed with unparalleled brilliance, its light piercing the darkness. Alex, with a cry of determination, thrust the core 
into the entity's maelstrom, the light enveloping the dark in a blinding explosion. The shock wave of light rippled through the mansion, cleansing the shadows, unraveling the entity into nothingness. The fragment entities, bereft of their master's malice, dissipated like mist at dawn. The mansion quaked, its walls and floors settling as the ancient curse was finally broken. In the aftermath, the mansion stood silent, its oppressive atmosphere replaced by a serene calm. The spectral Dilworths, their spirits freed from the chains of the curse, turned to Alex, gratitude shining in their ethereal eyes. One by one, they faded into the light, their long-awaited peace finally granted. The forgotten spirits, no longer bound by the mansion's dark legacy, whispered their thanks to Alex before drifting away, their forms blending with the morning mist that began to seep into the once-cursed halls. As the first rays of dawn pierced the broken windows, Alex, weary but triumphant, gathered the now dormant heart's core and the remnants of the ancient tome, the mansion, liberated from its centuries-old torment, seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, its walls echoing with the faint, lingering laughter of spirits, finally at peace. Outside, the world waited the tale of the night the Dilworth Mansion was freed from its curse. A tale of courage, sacrifice, and the enduring power of light over darkness. Alex, stepping out into the new dawn, knew his life had been irrevocably changed. He had faced the abyss and emerged not just a survivor, but a hero of a story that would be whispered in the town for generations to come. And so, the Dilworth Mansion, once a place of horror and despair, became a beacon of hope, a testament to the fact that even in the darkest of nights, there is always a light waiting to be found. The heart's core, its light now gentle and soothing, found a new home in the mansion a symbol of the guardian's sacrifice and the eternal vigil against the darkness. The story of the Dilworth Mansion and its final night of terror ended not with whispers in the walls, but with a promise of peace, a promise that in the fight between light and darkness, light will always find a way.